Are you asking me out on a date? No. Sounded like you were asking me on a date. I wasn't. I've been asked out on dates before, and that's what it sounded like. Do you like seafood? I know a good seafood place. Okay. <laughs> My third case was a drunken disorderly. It lasted nine weeks. I rounded up 31 people from the bar that night. Nine weeks on a D&D? &D? Well, what was the prosecutor offering? 15 days. You sure hustled the shit out of him. Yeah, well, after that, they moved me to internal affairs. Not to blame them. Where I have earned two meritorious service medals and two letters of commendation. Why are you always giving me your resume? Because I want you to think I'm a good lawyer. I do. No, you don't. I think you're an exceptional lawyer. I watch the court members. They respond to you. They like you. I see you convincing them, and I think Dawson and Downey are going to end up owing their lives to you. Joe, I think... I think you should prepare yourself for the fact that we're going to lose. Ross's opening statement, it was all true. I mean, let's pretend for a minute that it would actually matter to this court that the guys were given an order. I can't prove it ever happened. We'll keep doing what we're doing and we'll put on a show, but at the end of the day, all we have is a testimony of two people accused of murder. We'll find Markinson. Joe, we're gonna lose. And we're gonna lose huge. Corporal Jeffrey Owen Barnes, Marine Barracks Windward, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Corporal Barnes, name some reasons why a Marine would receive a code red. Being late for platoon or company meetings, keeping his barracks in disorder, falling back on a run. Have you ever received a code red? Yes, sir. We were doing seven-man assault drills, and my weapon slipped. It was just because it was over 100 degrees, and my palms were sweaty, and I'd forgotten to use the resin like we were taught. What happened? That night, the guys in my squad threw a blanket over me, took turns punching me in the arm for five minutes. And then they poured glue on my hands. And it worked, too, because I ain't never dropped my weapon since. <clears throat> was Private Santiago ever late for platoon meetings? Yes, sir. Was his barracks ever in disorder? Yes, sir. Did he ever fall back on a run? All the time, sir. Did he ever, prior to the night of September 6th, receive a code red? No, sir. Never? No, sir. You got a code red because your palms were sweaty. Why didn't Santiago, this burden to his unit, ever get one? Dawson wouldn't allow it, sir. Dawson wouldn't allow it. The guys talked tough about Santiago, but they wouldn't go near him. They were too afraid of Dawson, sir.